Hey guys, it's John Gallo from KHL Motorsport and uh, I'm here right now at KVI Quick Lube. KVI Quick Lube is normally a quick service center that offers tires, wheels, batteries, and lubricants in the Sukat Paranaque area. So normally, it's quick service on the chassis work that is done here. <laughs> but uh, uh, temporarily, we are doing uh, some builds here and uh, utilizing some of the space uh, for uh, working on the the cars behind me so the cars behind me are Toyota Corolla big body chassis cars so I'd like to take you guys around the cars and to tell you show you a bit of a progress that uh, we are doing with these uh, vehicles also located here is our engine process that we are trying to build up so nothing much except that we have fuel injectors now it's Basically, the fuel rail is the thing that we need the most. Fuel injectors are used. We'll probably sell them on this R for the Galan GTI. Uh, we'll get rid of those and uh, swap them over to some Evo uh, low impedance items. And one thing that's new, uh, we source this, I think, 4G37 uh, radiator inlet or outlet or whatever it is. Because the stock inlet goes this way. So it impedes a lot of space. This is more compact, but it still forces the coolant to go on the exhaust side. So that uh, kind of is kind of hard to package because the manifold and the turbo is in this area. So make room for some sort of piping that goes from the radiator to here. Again, this is rear wheel drive. So the radiator will be here in the timing, uh, timing belt side. This, is, this has a radiator cap on it. What actually we could do with this is uh, since we're building a drift car, we can always move the radiator to the back and have everything plumb uh, backwards to the rear of the car. And this could serve as the high point of the cooling system. Uh, that would be interesting to do, I guess, in our drift car. Alright, so let's get into the nitty gritties. Let's start first with the brown car over here. A Toyota Corolla big body locally released in the Philippines except that uh, uh, its front and rear fascias are uh, converted to Japanese spec. According to the client who owns this car, this is a Sprinter Gen 1 look. Okay, so it has the Sprinter headlights, signal lights, I think the, the grill is correct, Sprinter grill. What's missing is the side markers on the bumper. So it was there, but uh, the owner took it out for some reason. So it lights up, it has wires there. So it has a metallic brown paint. Uh, the hood did not come original to the car, so he bought that separately. Uh, it needs bodywork, but that's something we don't handle here at the shop. The paint is really faded, but it's ripe for a washover. Uh, I think it's something that can easily be done with uh, ample prep work. The body came like this. This originally was two Corollas. Um, we took the engine from one Corolla and put it in, into this body and all the nice parts from that Corolla, we put it into this one. This is the other side of the Corolla. It's missing a door handle on the rear. Uh, we're waiting for the owner to provide us the rear door handle. Right now, he's running some veil side wheels in 15 inch with uh, Bridgestone Potenza RE003s. So, a pretty nice setup, but the tires are old. They're expired, they need to be replaced. But otherwise, they're pretty neat. Let me take you to the back. Sad to say it's pretty tight here, but you could see it has the sprinter, sprinter fascia over here at the rear as well. Then interior-wise, we're still uh, finalizing the interior. Uh, it's not 100% in, but uh, we put in the sidings that he requested to be placed. I think we have to fix the air convents. He says that there are air convents that are broken. Probably this one. It's broken maybe. So anyway, you can resolve that. No problem for him. 
Then we, rep- uh, I don't know if this is a steering wheel that he had us put in, or but uh, it doesn't look like a Philippine model because it's stitched. Okay, it's still a bit ratty here, but he has some Recaros, old Recaros that he can also have it uh, reupholstered. Okay, so let's check out what's lying underneath the hood. Ah, hood lock, hood lock. Yeah, I found it. All right. So it's running a silver top engine for AG E20 valves. Uh, individual throttle bodies so basically this car mechanically sorted suspension is sorted it has some I don't know what lowering springs he has here um, but uh, we replaced the shocks we did all the uh, suspension components so it's really in tip top shape uh, this vehicle as far as the under chassis is concerned so it has a new battery original US Japan battery because uh, this client is a JDM fanboy guy so he wants uh, as much as possible JDM stuff so the whole car is uh, JDM-ish yeah and then the radiator is a twin uh, twin go model for the Corolla big body so it's pretty nice it's the, it's not 100% spec but uh, uh, engine seems to be running right now I haven't driven it yet after the last uh, We've been working on the electricals of this car, so it's been taking quite a while to get this uh, sorted. But eventually, we want to uh, drive this and uh, let it go for its next uh, journey as far as getting it uh, restored is concerned. But mechanically, it seems to be very well sorted. So, But we're g- it's getting there. We've been working on this. We've restarted working on this car for the past uh, two weeks straight. But I forgot to tell you one thing. We got also we got him also a new backboard for the rear, and we just installed all these speakers. So it's running six by nines at the back. Another shot of the Recaros. And the steering wheel. Uh, the car is really needing a repaint. But uh, he'll be handling that aspect of it uh, at his chosen shop. But our first goal is to get this car mechanically sorted. And it's close to that, very close to that. But there are certain parts that we still need. And we are waiting for the owner to provide so that we could uh, continue with the car. So as we work on the other car, which is this one. So alright, this is another Corolla Big Body. We have done a video or I think two videos about this car already. And it is back in our possession. This is the Corolla Rally Car, Budget Meals Rally Car that we have done. Uh, the last, I think one of the last videos was that you would see us testing the car on dirt uh, in Batangas. And uh, it has finished its first rally last year in Subic. It's now back in our possession since it's a race car. No one has been using this, so we're checking everything over again and sorting out uh, the various issues that it's, it's, it still has uh, and new things that have developed. The new thing that has developed is that the engine is not running well. I think it's misfiring or has dropped a cylinder or something, so we're we're investigating that one why is it so and uh, we are also uh, going to refit the interior this this is the personal wheel of the owner I think it's a Momo of some kind so we'll be returning the Momo or Sparkle wheel I don't know what wheel it is uh, we'll be returning it to the owner we will fit our own wheel this is anyway my seat it is a, a, what you call this, is a Cobra Monaco. So I've acquired another Cobra Monaco seat. Not exactly matching in upholstery, but it's a Cobra Monaco nonetheless, Excel size. So I'll be putting that one here. And then we'll be fixing the interior and figuring out how to put air conditioning. And I have to work on the alignment of this. 
uh, hopefully we'll get to join the next rally sprint and hopefully the one driving this car is yours truly well, I'm working hard to get this puppy running and operational hopefully it shouldn't be that long uh, I think the biggest stumbling block is funds because I have to buy safety harnesses uh, I have the seat already I'm waiting for my steering wheel to come we hope to get this car sorted and shaken down again on July by middle of July okay so still the one NZ engine from before nothing has changed so we have to figure out this, the transmission it's popping out of reverse when you reverse it the gear pops out so you have to hold the gear uh, in reverse if you want to keep it re uh, reversing and we're using also Yuasa battery here uh, for temporarily uh, actually it runs an NS40 because the Vios order ordinarily uses an NS40 battery so for lighter weight um, we're gonna be using this uh, Hyundai Enercell battery very tiny but right now since we're still diagnosing it we'll just use this bigger battery uh, yeah and uh, most of the stuff that we've done to it is still here uh, we kind of have to worry also about the lighting situation but I think we have friends that will be helping us with regards to the light so but uh, probably a brand new light bar is uh, necessary here so probably we'll buy a light bar or uh, revisit some of the other light bars that we currently already have maybe just put it maybe put a new bar here use the LED stuff that we already have we have from the coupe all we drive we have from Elantra V6 so we'll just probably plug those in here they basically these are the two Corollas that are in the shop right now uh, hopefully this car uh, moves on to it to the next stage so we're continuously getting this car done but probably we'll be moving to this one pretty soon it is actually quick quick work it's just a matter of me raising the funds to get the aircon working maybe making the interior slightly nicer the tail of two Corolla project cars but uh, I really like the Corollas they're easy to work on parts are cheap and uh, a lot of people to ask advice from uh, a lot of people know about these cars so working on them has been a pleasure and uh, hopefully we'll build a rally car again another one and this time it will it would be our own car and not shared uh, with uh, the owner of this car so that we could uh, theoretically race together against each other or at least have a fleet of rally cars that people can use so hopefully we get that program uh, sorted by 2024 uh, so it's just a matter of uh, assembling all the parts and having having the time and the money to get it done but uh, time and money, especially money right now, is tight. We're itching to try out stage rally for the first time. Uh, for me as a driver to do it. So, it's a bucket list type of thing. Even if I do it once in my life, it should be enough. If I'm able to do it more times, then better. But uh, for now, this car should be uh, working. But I'm just worried that if I get this car running, maybe the owner will take the car already. <laughs> but anyway, it's not my car. So, thank you Sumax for the support and we will be running your tires uh, for the next rally sprint event that this car joins. And yes, shout out to Kiva Blue for allowing us to work on these cars. Alright, and of course, this is us, KHL Motorsport. So thanks to Ivan also for allowing uh, me to use this car also for the next race. Okay, I filmed this video and I'm already quite drenched with sweat. But uh, these are the two cars right now uh, that we're working at. 
hopefully both these cars go online and then uh, we go resume to build our crazy silly Korean cars uh, but uh, until the next video this is it for now thank you so much for watching hope to see you guys next time ciao